beef and eggplant stir fry. So good. Hello and welcome to Uncle Bill's Kitchen. Chinese eggplants are very similar to regular eggplants, just a little thinner. They work great with stir fries and they cook up deliciously. Now what I like to do is I like to cut these into two inch pieces and then cut them in half and then into thirds, just like this. Half, then thirds, like so. Very easy. Discard the top and bottoms as these are unedible. And then we're going to just make sure to measure this out. Not perfect, but just about two inches. This way you're going to have a nice little bit of skin on each piece of your eggplant. When you see these little brown spots, you don't want them in your stir fry. Just cut them off like so. And then keep on cutting. Perfect. And we got this all finished up. I really love cooking Chinese food, Taiwanese food, or Asian specifically food. It's all about the preparation. Once everything's cut to the needs of the dish, it's just stir frying. It's a beautiful thing. Do you guys like cooking Chinese food? Let me know in the comments down below. Now we've got one onion that we've sliced in half and we're gonna cut these into bite-sized pieces like so. We just go right down the middle and then about half an inch each. Perfect. Go grab a bowl. Got it. Put this all into a bowl and set that aside. Also, you're going to want to have some crushed garlic ready. Put that in a bowl as well. About one tablespoon. Here I've got a thumb of ginger. And I'm just going to ask if everyone, if you like this show, if you like what I'm doing, please hit that subscribe button. Helps our channel out a lot. And don't forget to hit that like. It helps with the YouTube algorithms. All right, getting back to work here. We've got our thumb of ginger that we've cut into a square and peeled up. We're going to slice these into what I like to call matchsticks. All right, just little matchsticks here. Try to keep them all going the same way. It'll make things easier when you're chopping them into smaller pieces. Just like so. Chop, 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 chop. And we're just gonna get these into uniform, small, tiny pieces. Remember, ginger is a very strong aromatic, so you don't wanna bite into a big piece. Get these down into slices, just like what you see here. Just takes a little bit of time and then once it's done, it's done. Voila. All right, for your beef marinade, here's what you're gonna need. Mix well and have it sit for two hours, at least overnight if you've got time. All right, we're gonna put a little oil in a almost smoking wok, cover it up so that all those pores are nice and filled with our oil. And then we're gonna put one half of the onion in here along with our ginger. The reason we like to get these guys going first is because they take the longest to actually get softened. The ginger is a very strong root, so it takes a little bit of time. And the onions also, I like to get them a little to the point of translucentness. Once we get there, we're going to add in about a tablespoon of our minced garlic. And we're going to put this all together and make it meld until it's fragrant. Once it's fragrant, we're gonna add in about a pound of our cubed beef, sirloin, whatever you've got. If you got the chance, go with ribeye. It's a beautiful thing. But uh, any piece of meat that you've marinated in that marinade will work well. Give it a nice little stir fry. Make sure your wok is nice and wet. We're gonna add a little bit of mijiu, or Chinese cooking wine. About two tablespoons I put in here. It depends on what you've got going. And what we're trying to do is we're going to try to get this meat nice and browned. Almost complete. I'd say to about a medium rare, medium well is what we're looking for. 
Still got a little bit of ways to go, as you can see here. We've got a lot of pink going on. Just keep stir frying, keep the meat moving, and keep that pan hot. If things get a little dry, just add a little bit of water. I like to add it about this point. It also softens the meat up by giving you that steam. And looky, looky, oh, it is so good. Mm. We're going to put this meat in the bowl and on the side. And don't get rid of all that wonderful goodness at the bottom of the pan. Just add a little bit more of that cooking wine to the bottom to deglaze. And all the stuff down there, that's what I like to call flavor. Oh, yeah. All right, now that we've got that deglaze, I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil, get everything nice and hot, and we're gonna put our eggplant into the pan. And we're gonna coat this eggplant with all of those morsels of goodness from the beef. We're gonna try to get this a little bit toasted and browned. That's what we had that oil in. I've got a little MSG here, just a tiny bit. Now, I've heard lots of bad things about msg but let me tell you this is used all the time and it does add just a little bit different depth of flavor and i only use about half a teaspoon as you saw it makes a big difference we're going to add in about two cups of water and what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit more flavor using granulated chicken broth if you have your own chicken stock, you can use that instead of the water. I'm also gonna add about a teaspoon and a half of soy sauce. And we're gonna add about a teaspoon of sugar. Cover that up and hit that like button. That's right, hit the like and don't forget to subscribe. The notification bell also lets you know every time we have a new video come out. Thank you very much. All right, these are getting softer. It's been about three minutes. I'm gonna cover this up, leave a little bit of space open for that steam to come out. It's been another two minutes and looky, 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 they are getting nice and soft. Oh yeah, I can't wait to eat this dish. It's so good, guys. It's a darker color, I know, but let me tell you, the flavor is amazing. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of oyster sauce to our mix. I'm putting in about half a tablespoon. And we're going to get that mixed in and have that flavor added to this as well. Now I'll take in our beef mixture and start to stir fry this all together. Making sure you're using medium high heat. We want our wok nice and hot, but not so hot that it's going to burn anything. This is looking perfect, guys. Once we've finished, we're gonna put this in a bowl, but the first thing I noticed is we have a lot of liquid down here. So what do we do? Cornstarch slurry every time. It's just a mixture of water and cornstarch, equal parts, mixed together and then added to your liquid to thicken it up. And the piece de resistance, a little bit of sesame oil, just a drizzle gives it that little umami flavor people will be asking what is that flavor what is that taste oh we'll know what it is all right we're going to put this in the bowl and this is what you've got i've got some chopped up scallions that i've put on the side and i'm going to place those on top here for a little color but there you have it beautiful delicious wonderful serve it up with some stir fried pumpkin or some shrimp and wonderful green peppers yellow peppers thanks for stopping by uncle bill's kitchen we hope you enjoyed today's episode if you did please be sure to hit that like button thanks to everyone who's been sharing our videos on your social media it's been making a huge difference and keeping me motivated happy cooking everyone thanks again and i'll see you next episode